So in a previous video, I think I talked about a bunch of wood that I had. Um, I think it was when I talked about post oak that I had a bunch of this wood that wasn't usable um, because of termite holes. So I ended up cutting a bunch of cubes out and setting them aside for a while to get them ready to pour epoxy in them. So that's what I'm going to do with these. So I did already make a couple of pens with this um, termite wood. They, I used a blue resin. They came out really nice. I didn't make a video for those, but I'll make a video for these ones. Um, but they looked really nice and I sold them already. But I did go ahead and pour some more. So for the other ones, I used a blue resin. For these two, I used a green resin. And I think it's gonna look really cool. I'll get you a close up here in a second of what it looks like. But I like the green color and I think it's gonna work well with this wood. So we'll see. So this is what that termite wood looks like with the green in it. It might be a little hard to see right now. The lighting isn't great. It's a little bit cloudy, but the resin did do a good job of filling in these holes. There's still a few bubbles in there, but I think we'll be okay on most of these pieces. This looks like to be the only one that's not great. The rest of these look fine. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on these. We're gonna drill out those holes and then let's get them going. All right, so I got the holes drilled on all of these. Um, the wood that I'm using that is inside of this resin is the post oak that I cut up before. Um, if you wanna go see me make those pens, you can jump over on my channel to the post oak video because um, those pens actually did turn out really nice but these ones are grilled and ready for tubes So this is still the old bit that I need to replace. Um, it doesn't work very well on the harder woods, but on softer hardwoods like post oak and resin, it still works kind of fine. So we'll use it for this and then we will, uh, I have another one coming. So we'll get that set up a different time. but I think I'll be able to get these done, at least one of them, uh, we'll see, but I guess it's not terribly windy right now, I just died, oh, no, there it is, I'm trying out a couple new things uh, with the camera, because I'm not filmmaker or anything like that so I want to try out a few different camera angles so if you're watching this uh, let me know if something works if you like something something fits in a certain spot or if everything just sucks and uh, I need to make changes so if you're watching let me know what I can do to do better make this more entertaining because I still I know what I'm doing here but I don't know what I'm doing there 
um, because I don't have a lot of experience with that, but I have a lot of experience with this. And so I just kind of want to get this out and share people, share it with people. So if there's something that you think might help this get to the right audience, let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and get these turned. So I had a little bit of an issue with the front piece. There were some weird spots where the epoxy didn't get all the way into the wood. And so there were some weird bubbles and chipping in the wood, which is a risk of using termite wood. So I'm glad I made a couple sets. All right, so I have the other piece set up here. I don't think I'll record this one. Um, just because there's a solid chance that I'm going to have to stop in the middle of it um, to take care of a couple things. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started on this one and I'll show you what it looks like uh, once I've sanded and polished it. But for now I'm just going to go ahead and get started on it. If I have to stop, I'll stop. But you'll, you'll see what it looks like before I put it together, that's for sure. All right, I have these trimmed down. I actually swapped out the other good piece from the first turn because this back end piece ended up a lot like the other piece where it had some chipping and uh, didn't want to stay together. So I've got this turned, got it swapped out, and then I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and sand these and uh, get the polish on them, make them look nice and pretty. All right, so here we have that finished termite wood with the green resin. It came out looking really good. I love the post oak in this. And I love the, the hints of green that you get from each of those little termite holes that you can see. I think the silver works really well with this and I really like it. Um, I've had people commenting on this one um, last time I made it, um, I went to a market and sold a few of these and people really enjoyed them. And so hopefully this one can find the same success that those ones did on here. But it came out looking really nice. I really like the feel of it. It feels really smooth, really nice. As always, the twist function of the pen is super smooth but that's it for this one if you want to see more of this you can like subscribe um, you can also go and follow my instagram page where i do i'll post some stuff about these i'll do some other random stuff um, you can also go and check out my etsy page where I have these pens listed for sale and a bunch of other ones. Um, I also have a bunch of jewelry up 
on the Etsy page right now that um, I made for an event. But if you are looking for some fun jewelry, earrings, whatever, or need a nice pen, go and check out my Etsy page. All of that's for sale at pretty reasonable prices. It's actually pretty cheap compared to some of the other stuff on there. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching.